Hi everyone, my name is Chantelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Gothamus video for you and let me tell you what I'm doing today. I'm going to make a Christmas diorama. A fireplace with a Christmas tree, a window and the flooring. And I want to make it as easy for you guys to follow along if you want to do this, maybe on Christmas. Um, so what have we got here? I've got some polyfill to fill a bottle cap. You can also do this with some plaster of Paris, air dry clay, polymer clay. If there's no plastic inside, you can put it in the oven. Mine has plastic inside, so I won't. What I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna mount this stick in here to make my own Christmas tree, miniature Christmas tree with these green pipe cleaners. I got three packs because I have no idea how much I need for that. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk you through the process of that. I have some of this stuff, some tinsel to decorate. If you don't want to make your own tree, you can always use these, of course. And this is uh, some um, greenery for decorations. And when you cut it down, you have this, which is perfect for miniature. So. There we go. This is, these are pipe cleaners as well. There's metal inside, so you can move them any way you like. And then these are pipe cleaners too. So there's a lot you can do with those for decorations. I have some balsa wood for the floor. You can use popsicle sticks or just paper, whatever you like, whatever you like. Picked up some bling. Not sure which one or if I'm gonna use any of them, but I thought, why not? With these, I'm going to make some baubles for the tree. This fabric will be the curtains. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm starting with is filling the bottle cap with poly filler, just because that needs to dry for a little bit. I then place the dowel inside to make an indent so I can glue it in later on. So what I'm showing you here is the diorama I started off with. I ended up making a larger diorama in the end and all the dimensions are in the description box below. So after cutting out all the walls, I then started cutting out the cavity where the window will be and the piece of acetate that will become the window. From match sticks I will be making the inner frame of the window and I'm coloring the match sticks black with a sharpie. You can also use acrylic paint. And with a very fine sanding block I am sanding the acetate sheet to make it look matte. I'm marking with a permanent marker where all the match sticks need to go because they're going over this anyway so you won't see the marks. And then gluing them on. I'm using a Fabri-Tac glue for this. Then snipping off the excess, repeating that on the other side as well, and then the window frame is done. Because the window is the exact same size as the part I cut out, I can just push the window inside the frame without using any glue. I will then color these skinny stirrer sticks painted them black with some acrylic paint and will then measure them and cut them to size. And because I am gluing these on the outside of the window, the window is secured. And then doing some touch-ups with the leftover acrylics. What I am doing here is sticking strips of paper on the outside where the foam is exposed. I do this with wood glue or PVA glue, whichever you have, because this will not melt the foam. If you use Fabri-Tac glue on the foam, it will melt the foam and it will not adhere. You can then either use PVA glue or wood glue or Fabri-Tac glue to put your pieces together. And here you can see the large diorama, which is significantly bigger than the other one. The only thing that is the same is the window on the right hand side. I then cut out strips from balsa wood to create the flooring. This can be anything you like. You can use strips of cardboard, you can use paper, you can use popsicle sticks, anything goes. 
Then for the walls I'm using some scrapbook paper and I'm sorry my hair is in frame because I need to remember to tie my hair up when I create. And I'm just stamping at the top to give it more of a gothic, gothmas kind of feel and cutting out strips of wallpaper from this paper. Then with this dauber I am inking the sides of the wallpaper to give it more definition and give it a little bit more of a grungy look. The only thing for the wallpaper that I need to do is measure around the window frame and then stick the window frame on top of the wallpaper. After cutting out all these sticks of balsa wood, I am then just gonna glue them on. I am sanding them down on the sides as I go, just to give them more definition in where they start and finish, because if you cut the balsa wood and put them together, they just blend in together again and you don't see the individual pieces. And this is what we have so far, but we're not done yet. I'm going to break off the sides because balsa wood is very soft and easy to break and then going to cut off the excess and sand it down just to get rid of the rough edges. I am then going to go over with matte Mod Podge to seal it all in so the surface of the balsa wood is not too absorbent and then going over with an ink wash once that's dry. Whilst that's drying I'm going to paint the base of the Christmas tree. For this I'm using a simple brown acrylic paint. Then let's move on to the tree. I used 20 of these sticks and these packs come with 30. So you wrap it around and then wrap it around itself, snip off the excess and there you have two branches. And you continue this process until you're happy with your tree, going smaller and smaller as you go to the top. It is really, really easy and really, really effective. And I actually like this tree better than the store-bought ones. Now I'm sure everyone has a bottle cap and some air dry clay that you can get somewhere. However, if you cannot find a dowel stick, you can also use a stick of an old paintbrush. And this is what the tree looks like. I expected it to be more heavy, but it's actually really light. So in the end, I have to stick it down into the diorama. I just need to make the top of the tree now, and I'm just twisting this bit together and glue it down with some hot glue. To darken up the surface of the floor, I am using a black ink wash. I mixed in some water to not make it look too dark and I'm just applying this until I'm happy with what it looks like. If you would like to purchase any of the materials that I'm using in this video, I will also leave affiliate links in the description box down below. This means I get a small commission at no extra cost to you. I also have an Amazon storefront where you can find more lists of all the materials that I'm using in my videos. Anyway, back to the project. I am also using the same wash over this fabric because it was way too bright for me. No, I'm just kidding. It just blended in a little bit better when it's a bit darker. So here you can see the original fabric and the after where it's more muted. I used a piece of fabric that is about double the size of the wall and then cutting it in half, gluing down the ends so it doesn't fray and it looks a little bit better and making curtains. For this I'm using Fabri-Tac glue. I then fold the top pieces over so it creates a tube and I can just slide it onto the rod. The rod is made out of a skewer with a bead on either side. Because of using this method, it creates the creases where I want them to be and I think it looks like a heavy fabric curtain. I'm just securing the end parts with a little bit of glue so it doesn't slide over the end part. 
I have some dark green embroidery thread that fits the curtain. I'm going to twist that and twist that on itself, which then acts as a curtain tie back. And now I'm attaching the curtain to the diorama with some Fabri-Tac glue. This diorama needed lights, so I have these cheap AliExpress, I think you can also get them at Amazon, lights, string lights. There's 10 on a string and it has two button cell batteries. I'm basically just coiling the string around the tree as you would normally do with a string that goes around a tree. There is no other way of describing this and I'm doing the same with the tinsel here. Moving on to the tree decorations. I have some charms and ravens that my friend Jen sent me, some beads and some of the silver head pins that I will use to make bubbles. This is a very easy process. By the way, the head pins you can find in the uh, jewelry department. You basically put the bead on the head pin. You decorate it like you can see me do here with the little things that I didn't know if I was going to use them, but I did in the end. Mainly the red and green ones, but not the champagne colored ones. With pliers you cut off the top part of the head pin, then you twist it around itself and you've got a bubble. This is where the tree gets attached to the diorama and here is the decorated tree. I really like how this turned out with the little ravens inside of it. Now there's only one thing left to do for this diorama and that is to make the fireplace. Again all the dimensions are in the description box below so you can make your own and you can find all the dimensions there just as I made them here. And please, if you are going to create this diorama or parts of it or you're using techniques that I've shown you, let me know and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see all your creations. As I did before with the diorama itself, I've wrapped around the strips of paper on the outside so you can't see the foam board. And that is basically the finishing for this fireplace. I did the same with the two side walls of the fireplace, which I'm sticking on here. And then moving on to the front of the fireplace. This is just a piece of chipboard, which is basically the stuff that you can find at the back of notepads. Then at the front of the fireplace, I'm placing this decorative piece just to give it a little bit more extra. And then this is the back of the fireplace, which is just a piece of watercolor paper, but you can also use normal paper. And I am putting on some chalk pastel here to give that fireplace look. You can use all kinds of stuff here. You can use colored pencil or paint even. Do whatever you like on the inside of your fireplace. And then sticking that on the back of the fireplace. Moving on to the base of the fireplace. I am using an egg carton that I had left over from a previous project. That is why it is already painted, which is done with acrylic paints. Then I am going to lay down the bricks and attaching it to a piece of chipboard again. It's the same chipboard as the front of the fireplace. And then going over with a layer of Mod Podge and then a layer of the same watered down ink to give it that wash. Because I still had some of that ink wash left over, I decided to use that for the front of the fireplace as well. Now, because I want the lights to be inside the fireplace as well, I cut out these little slits 
so the lights can come in from the back so you don't see them come into the fireplace and go out again on the side. I am using some tissue paper to cover up the lights inside the fireplace so it gives that fire glow. Once I'm happy with how everything looks, I'm going to place everything inside a diorama and stick everything down. Of course we need some logs for inside the fireplace and from some corrugated cardboard I am cutting out strips, roll them up, glue them down, color them with a marker. You can also use acrylic paint and there you have your logs. With a sharpie I color in the wire that is at the back of the fireplace so it doesn't show too much. Then from the greenery pipe cleaners I am going to create some decoration for the fireplace. You can just cut it down, shape it to size and there you have your fireplace hangings or you can make a wreath or any other Christmas decorations. Hey you can even make a tree out of this stuff, I didn't even think of that till now. I just wrapped some pipe cleaner tinsel around it and then decorating it with the red rhinestones. And then I am attaching it with some Fabri-Tac glue to the fireplace. And this is it for part 4 of Gothmas. I loved working on another diorama and I hope it gives you inspiration to create your own. I did add some Gothmas decorations that I created during the month of October. If you would like to support me you can do so by signing up for my Patreon. You can find the link in the end card of this video or in the description box below. And if you are new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!